Hi, it's Andy again, and this is going to be my first video uh, in a long time, and the first one post IO 2015. Um, this one's just going to get you started and um, kind of show some of the features of uh, Android Studio 1.3, uh, the beta. There's going to be a lot more features coming that they kind of showed at IO that are, that do look pretty sweet. I'm actually really excited about the the blueprint layout maker and everything like that it's going to make making layouts uh, a lot easier especially with also the new design library which is also pretty sweet um, i'm planning on doing some videos on the design library and how to implement them um, like there's not that many new f new layouts or anything like that but there's some pretty you know pretty neat ones that you've been able to do with third-party libraries but at least this will be google's official uh, implementation um, and it's also backwards compatible all the way back to um, I believe and they said Android 2.1 which is uh, pretty awesome so let's get started by showing you how to get up on uh, Android Studio 1.3 uh, the current latest uh, um, release build is 1.2.1.1 1 .1. uh, let's get off of that first we have to check for updates it's gonna say that I'm all um, up to date because I just updated this all right, we're just going to switch over here to the Canary channel. Uh, as you can see, there's four channels. There's the stable, beta, dev, and Canary. So the latest one is the Canary. Um, it actually has there's a new version of the 1.3, which is uh, it has some bug fixes. Allows you to import the design layer li um, library easier um, without actually having to know the latest version number, which is nice. Um, and uh, there was an annoying bug where if you tried to override um, on create or on resume or any of those uh, mandatory ones it would tell you you had to use super even if you use super so I mean it's kinda it was a stupid little bug but I'm glad it's it's fixed now because it was kind of annoying when I was trying to do one of my projects um, okay so let's update so we're gonna switch to the canary and uh, check for updates again all right, 1.3 preview 2.0. So the 2.0 has the little bug fixes. So we're going to update and restart. And I'm going to pause the video while this is doing this so uh, I'm not wasting your time. Okay, so after I did all that, it, it asked you if you want to import your uh, settings from 1.2. Uh, I didn't have any issues with this, so I don't see why not. Um, you know, if you do, you could probably just try redoing it and then uh, select I do not have a previous version of Studio and then try that. But I didn't I didn't notice any uh, glaring issues from importing my 1.2. So I'm going to do that and it's going to launch. Oh, another thing of uh, 1.3, it, it seems a lot faster, especially in the build process. Um, it seems like it, I mean, they announced that it's only going to really do your whatever was changed and so it's kind of like pre-compile your project which reduces the compiling time uh, greatly uh, after your first compile uh, I don't I think it's probably your first compile is still gonna take a long time um, if you close the app and then relaunch it like that first compile is still gonna it, I think it kinda clears the cache every single time you close the product close the app but um, you know I definitely noticed that if I was compiling something a second or third time after you know some changes it was almost instantaneous it was pretty quick um, now I was doing that on a solid state drive this is a traditional old spinning hard drive um, and it's also a pretty slow one at that so uh, I haven't really tested it obviously since I'm installing it for the first time um, but we'll see how this all works let's go to configure and let's get our SDK manager Oh, you know what? I didn't want to do that. Let's not do that. Let's pull up a. I kind of want to show you uh, without using the SDK. Or go. Uh, let's pick an application, and we'll update from close. Update from here. As you see now, it's it. They built their own UI into Android Studio to get you up to date. So it's been a while since I've <laughs> loaded up um, and done anything on this computer. 
Uh, there's updates for Android 5.0, 5.1, and now the MNC or Macadamia Nut Cookie or whatever it's going to be called, uh, MNC. Uh, also, there's little tabs. So this isn't all your updates. Obviously, this is just uh, your um, the versions of Android that you want to uh, target. You're going to want to download those. Uh, include the system images and stuff like that. Uh, if you launch the standalone SDK manager, you can probably still sift through what you want installed and what you don't want installed. Um, but it looks like this just downloads the entire uh, operating systems for those, um, like everything. That's the sample code, the documentation. It's going to download everything. So if you don't want that, um, you just want the images, you can pick through them by launching the the SDK manager still. All right, so there's a lot of updates in here. Um, this 23.0.0 uh, RC2 is very important for uh, doing uh, targeting M apps. You're also going to need a different version of Gradle. Um, I'll get around to that when we start doing um, an app for M. I'll do something like I don't know. We'll fake a, a fingerprint reader or something like that. Okay, so, and then we also want to, uh, I don't need Intel hacks, I'm, I'm on, a, on a Linux computer, so that's not going to be helpful, but uh, I think all the other stuff, uh, I don't see the, um, I do not see a um, USB driver on here, so that's good, because that's also not necessary. So this is going to take me um, a while, so... I'm going to download that and pause the video. Okay, so now I've finished downloading everything from uh, the SDK manager. Um, when you try to then uh, build your first app, you're going to get probably this error here. Uh, not to worry, it's a very easy fix. Um, you just need to update your Gradle plugin. So we need to change this from 1.0.0. Um, yours might even be newer. I haven't updated mine in a long time so the newest one is 1.2 uh, 0.3 and this is a stable one there's gonna be another one to actually compile the M app so when we get around to it I'll actually tell you what that one is so we'll sync now and that little error should go away done beautiful now we haven't really targeted anything new here in a while uh, let's see what's the. I like to actually load up the SDK manager to get the right version numbers. Uh, ooh, look, more tools. Uh, I hadn't refreshed this since, so let's download. So I have these, uh, the 23 here is, um, these are in a preview channel. I had selected that um, uh, somewhere in here. one of the options that showed up. It asked me if I wanted to install the um, preview uh, items when I clicked OK or apply or something like that. All right, but anyway, let's uh, let's up these, update these to the latest version. Um, so uh, SDK platform tools 22.0.1, or sorry, uh, 22.0.1 for the build tools. Uh, build tools. 22.0.1. Let's target 22. And then compile SDK. Okay. Change that to 22 as well. And then we can actually change this to the newer version. Um, and let's see what the newest version is 22.2.0 so we'll change that sync now and uh, this app will run and compile all right so this will hopefully get you up and running on uh, uh, Android Studio 1.3 so if you have any issues please feel free to hit me up 
on uh, on YouTube in the comment section below. And have a good night.